Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm H, third year BS Human Biology student, which really means that I'm a first year medical student in the LSM HSI. So for this video, we will be having a quiz B with my group mates, so we're group 9B, and this quiz will be all about our first module, well, the second part of our first module, which is epithelial and connective tissues. So it's really about anatomy, and by this time, it's actually Moira's birthday. Happy birthday, Moira. So yeah, so please watch. Thank you. <laughs> Pag mag-vlog, wala talaga yung nagbukas ng camera. Sige, bukas na tayo, bukas na tayo. Nakakaya eh. Ayan! Sige, sige, bukas na tayo. One, two, three, go! 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 Happy birthday! transition from there so um basta let's start hello everyone so hello. welcome to our histology quiz discovering <laughs> epithelial and connective tissue <laughs> so before we start uh, please introduce yourselves hello i'm yara oh i'm shello <laughs> <I'm Ella. laughs> Hi, I'm Alfred. Hello, guys. <laughs> so, welcome ulit sa quiz natin. So, start na tayo kasi wala akong script na naka-red. So, ayan. So, for our first question. Oh my God. <laughs> what is not a basic characteristic of epithelial tissue? A. Highly cellular. B. Vascular. C. Cells exhibit polarity, or D can be made up of one or more layers of cells. Yan. So 10 seconds. 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So your answers. Alam, bakit mukhang iba? Teka lang. Correct answer is B. Vascular. <laughs> ano? Wait lang. Si Sam naka-off ka. Hindi ko alam yung tamang sagot. Madaya to. Madaya. 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 Binago na. Bina <laughs> Sam, nadyan ka pa ba? Pakigalaw ng baso. Everybody got the correct answer. <laughs> Yay! Sam. Mira pala nang ganto pag mali ako talagang kitang kita. Yeah. So Moira, bakit why uh, bakit? <laughs> bakit di <laughs> ang sagot mo? <laughs> Hirap ma English ah. Kasi Sabi sa notes. <laughs> <laughs> sabi po sa libro, hindi daw siya vascular. Kinukuha lang daw niya yung nutrients sa ano, underlying connective tissue. Wow. Wow. Perfect. Wow. 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 So, yeah. So, epithelial tissues, long explanation, are nearly completely avascular. So, for instance, blood vessels cross the basement membrane to enter the tissue, and nutrients must come by diffusion or absorption. Wow. Great explanation. Second question. True or false? Basal lamina is made up of the basement membrane and lamina fibroreticular. True or false? Ayan. 10 seconds. 10, 9. True or false lang naman. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Show your answers. Okay. Very honest. 
Yeah. Okay. And so, that's my question mark. My dead. <laughs> it's two, two. The correct answer is false. <laughs> yeah. So Moira, Yara, and ano ba? Shello and Ella, tama ba? Ayan. Ella. Ako siya Paul. So bakit nga ba false? February tiklaris. False kasi, basal lamin na wait lang. Kasi actually, yung basement membrane yung made up of basal lamina and lamina fiber reticularis. So, yung basement membrane yung mas, mas broad na term. Though some authors use the term synonymously naman with uh, basal lamina and basement membrane. Pero, ah! Okay! Oh, oh. Yeah. Pero basement membrane tama, talaga, tama, tama. Uh, basal lamina plus lamina fibro reticularis. Next question. This layer is made of, of collagen type 7, fibronectin, thrombocondin, and proteoglycans. Yan. A. Lamina rara externa. Ang hirap naman yan. Lamina lucida. C. Lamina densa. B. Lamina rara interna. I'll take my chances. Three. Huh? What? Show your answers. Checking your answers. <laughs> Okay, so the correct answer is D. Lamina rara interna. So Moira, paki explain naman bakit niya sagot mo. <laughs> bakit mo? Yun talaga yun nakalagay sa reviewer promise. Wow. Ah, ikaw. Kaya wala na kung paayos na rasyo para jan. How about Ella? <laughs> Ella, bakit di yung sinagot mo? Hindi niya nakalagay sa note. <laughs> <laughs> yung yung din sa ata, 6 ba yun? Collagen type 6. Okay. Tapos yung rara interna, yan yung 7. Tapos yung rara externa, tsaka lucidum, pareho lang. Yes. So, oh. <laughs> Madaming components, rara interna. Tama. <laughs> nah. Tapos, Pag lamina externa, same lang siya sa lamina lucida. So, so sa, sa tatlong layers na yon, ano yung electron lucent? Lamina externa. Lamina externa. Oo, yung hindi densa. <laughs> okay, very good. So, from standing natin ngayon, leading with three points, Moira, Yara, and Ella. Wow. Dito, mamaliin ko na yung sunset. <laughs> Next question. Hanggang gusto talang inalit ko. Hanggang mga first few pages of the reviewer lang alam ko eh. Na pagdating ng collective, ano to? Pagdating ka sa tulong-tulong na wala na tayo dyan. <laughs> Next question. What kind of epithelium lines the stomach, intestine, and large stop of some exocrine glands? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Show your answers. Ay, wait lang. Eraser pa. Wait lang. <laughs> the correct answer is... C. Simple columnar. Ayan. Teka lang, teka lang. Hindi ako nakapagsulat na explanation, pero simple columnar talaga siya, guys. Tandaan na lang natin. Tandaan nyo na lang. Kaka usually, kapag columnar, isa siya sa mga ano talaga, intestine, stomach, kapag need ng secretion at absorption, mga ganon. Next question. What is the other name for tight junction? 
Wait, wait, wait. Hindi ko, hindi ko makontrol. Question number five. Question number five. What is the other name for tight junctions? Zona ocul dense, zona adherent, macula adherent, zona pellucida desmosome. Five, four, three, two, one. Show your answer. Kita ba? Kita. Kita pa yung notes ko. So, no, the correct answer is actually A. Pero actually, ma mali talaga lahat. <laughs> Kasi the correct term is Zonula Ocludens. Zonula Ocludens. So, sorry, akin. <laughs> akin siya. Sa'yo talaga. <laughs> no. Bonus! Kasi mali yung sagot ko. What? Ano <laughs> na rin tinig? Bonus. <laughs> so, Zonula Adherence. Ano siya? Other name for Zonula Adherence is... Um, anong page to? <laughs> it's Band Desmosome or Belt Desmosome. Or Adherence Ooh. Junction. Adherence Junction. Macula adherence, other name for desmosome. Ang zona pelucida, pelucida, it's a layer na egg cell. Question number six. What glands release their apical part together with the second body product? A. Merocrine. B. Holocrine. B. Apocrine. B. Endocrine. Ayun, na lumalapit na tayo sa mga parts na hindi ko na nabasa. Same, same. Lumalapit-lapit <laughs> na tayo. <laughs> page, page 2 pa lang to, feel ko. Wait lang, hindi ko ma-search eh. <laughs> wait lang, basa lang ako. Wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Show your answers. Only three got the correct answer. <laughs> the correct answer is... C. <laughs> Wala pala ibang choices dyan, pero C yung correct answer. So, merocrine glands uh, release their secretion by exocytosis. So, i-release lang siya. Pag holocrine naman, release secretion entails destruction of the cells itself. So, kapag nag-release siya, na-destroy din yung cell kapag holocrine. Tapos, yung endocrine, actually, merocrine, holocrine, and apocrine, they're all classifications of exocrine glands. So, mali yung endocrine. Kasi endocrine glands secrete directly sa interstitial fluid at saka bloodstream. Diba? <laughs> Next Thanks. question. How many types of collagen are there? 1, 8, 23, 28, 33. How many types of collagen are there? Ayan na. Hindi na namin alam to. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Show your answer. Ay, tanga. Yung number yung sinulat ko. Sorry. Wait na. Wait na. Wala lang ako. Yan to. Nabura lang. The correct answer is letter G. 28 types of collagen. So, they just differ in amino acid composition. Pero when we talk about collagen, ano ba yung three amino acid nakikita sa collagen? Yara? Ay, meron? Search ko lang. Glycine. 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 Sorry. Ano ba yung glycine? Glycine lang natandaan ko. Glycine. Yung third amino acid. Glycine, glycine, arginine? And choline. Glycine, and glycine, lysine, and proline. Ayan. Next question. What is the common origin of all cells of the body? Okay, edit mo habang sa ano. Ooh. Pluripotent, oligopotent, multipotent, neural stem cells, unipotent. 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one. So your answers. Okay, the correct answer is A. Pluripotent. Ayan. So, pluripotent stem cells. Wala ako sa notes. Basta siya yung common origin of all cells of the body. <laughs> yung oligopotent ay yung after ng pluripotent, uh, multipotent siya. Uh, ba, uh, diverse pa rin yung pagkakasparalikit, pero mas restricted. After ng multipotent, magiging oligopotent. Tapos after ng oligopotent, magiging unipotent. Yung neural stem cell, it's a kind of uh, unipotent stem cell na gives rise to neurons or uh, glial cells, ganon. Tapos may, may isa pa actually, yung totipotent. Yung totipotent, hindi lang siya cells ng body, but it also gives rise to cells yung parang amniotic sac, ganun. As in lahat-lahat, totipotent. Next question. Second to the next question. Pang 9 din ata to ah. 8 pang 9. Question number 9. Ay, ano na to? Question number 9. Second to the last. Okay. What cells synthesize... Okay, wrong grammar. Teka. <laughs> ulit, ulit. <laughs> What cells synthesize only precursors of type 3 collagen? Hindi ko na to alam. Hula na to. Sensya na. Basta pag-connect, iba na lang ang pinaban dyan. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Show your answers. Mago, off-screen na lang ako. <laughs> What's your answer? <laughs> The correct answer is... Letter E! <laughs> <laughs> Alfred and Moira, <laughs> get the answer. <laughs> so, ayun. So, kasi reticular cells are also fibroblasts. Pero, tama naman kayo. Oh, but mali. <laughs> pero kasi yung tanong, Specialized is, is only oh. pink or source of type 3 collagen. Yung reticular okay. cells, fibroblast sila, but specialized to synthesize only precursor to type 3 collagen. Tama naman, pero E yung better answer. Vibro- Edi bonus. Edi bonus. <laughs> Dapat merong F dyan, uh, A and E. Point five, oh, okay. point five ka lahat. <laughs> Bonus. Except kay Moira and Alfred. Bonus. So, adipocyte, <laughs> fat cells, ang mast cells yung nag-release ng ano, histamine and all, di ba? For allergic reactions. Last question. So far, leading po si Moira. Ang, <laughs> ang ating birthday girl. <laughs> alam na, ya, yeah, alay. <laughs> Next question. What is not a loose connective tissue? A. Areolar tissue B. Adipose C. Regular, reticular connective tissue D. Tendons and ligaments E. Endometrium Hindi ko na alam niya. Hindi ko alam pero tama na naman siya. Uy! Kanina sis! Talaga! So, five, four, three, two, one. Show your Wait answer. Wait. Ayan. The correct answer is letter D. Pentons oh, and ligaments. So, yung examples ng loose connective tissue. Areolar, adipose, to reticular connective tissue. Yung endomysium, It's a areo. It's a type of areolar tissue. So loose connective tissue. Kind of. Yung tendons and ligaments is dense connective tissue. So ayon. So we have a winner. We have a winner. All oh, congratulations, Moira. <laughs> Thank you guys for the. Thank you. And congratulations, Moira. 